In the race for president, a shakeup this weekend as President Joe Biden announces he's dropping out and Vice President Kamala Hollis Harris says she's in. Lawmakers from across our region are mostly on board endorsing Harris for president. In our region, New Hampshire Senator Maggie Hassan, New York Senator Kirsten Gillibrand, and Vermont Representative Becca Ballant, as well as New Hampshire Representative Annie Custer, all offered their support for the vice president already. Meanwhile, Vermont's Republican Governor Phil Scott, who has said he will not vote for Donald Trump, has not endorsed Harris either. Neither has New York Representative Elise Stefanik, who is a staunch Trump supporter. Nor Vermont Senators Bernie Sanders or Peter Welch, who said yesterday he's not quite ready to endorse the vice president. But it's really important for us as Democrats to take advantage of the extraordinary energy that's been unleashed uh, by the president's decision to set, step aside and show that we're confident about engaging everyday Democrats to participate in this. Um, my view is that our nominee, in all likelihood, I think Vice President Harris, is going to be strengthened by a process that's seen as open. Reacting to news of Biden's decision, New York Representative Lee Stefanik said in part, quote, the Democrat Party is in absolute freefall for their blatantly corrupt and desperate attempt to cover up the fact that Joe Biden is unfit for office.